What's up? I'm at Pho Dao. I had to shoot a review because this place has some interesting pho. First of all, I have to honor my main man, number 24, Kobe Bryant. Got the Kobe beef here. They have a Kobe pho, so we gotta try it. So apparently it's USA Kobe beef. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness. Look at those noodles too. I got this with quote unquote fresh rice noodles. I, I've never really seen that before, so. I mean, I assumed noodles were fresh to a certain extent, but they literally said fresh on their menu. But yeah, I'm gonna get try this Kobe beef. Let's get into it. It's rare, so you dip it in the soup a little bit to get it cooked to your doneness. I'm gonna get one that's still kind of medium. Let's get into it. That's some good beef. I don't know if it's placebo, because I know it's my main man, Kobe Bryant, but I feel like it tastes slightly beefier than your normal beef at a restaurant. Because sometimes when you slice that steak, it's super thin. It doesn't really taste that beefy, but this just tastes super beefy. I don't know. Like, it kind of tastes like you cook your own steak. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this Kobe beef. And actually, I don't think I've had Kobe beef before. I might have. I've had Wagyu before, I think, but not Kobe. I don't know. All right. Um, try these quote-unquote fresh noodles. First thing I noticed, they are wide noodles, which I kind of like. I, I usually prefer wide over the thin ones, but that's just personal preference. Let's get into it. I don't really taste the difference between fresh and dried, or I don't really know the difference. But these noodles taste pretty good. I'll say that. And now let's try the broth. Broth with Kobe. I will say this broth is darker than a lot of places. Maybe they added extra fish sauce, or I don't know. Let's get into it. Now that's a slightly above average broth. I don't think it's anything too special. It's darker. It's pretty beefy. Um, I will give it that. So this interesting Kobe, um, Kobe beef bra uh, pho from Pho Dao. I thought it would blow me away. I, in, in actuality, it's just slightly above average in my opinion. I think it's pretty good. I'll give it a four out of five. Um, it was fifteen dollars though, so a little bit more expensive uh, than your average pho. But I mean, if you want to try Kobe beef, this is a interesting spot to do it at. Um, I got a couple people here with me today. Uh, we got Lo here. Putting the hoisin directly on the noodles. What do you think? I'm really hungry and I haven't had fun in a long time. Uh -huh. So I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Okay, 5 out of 5. What about you, Chow? Oh. I'm on with my man, Toby Giant. Toby is pretty good. I like the thickened noodles. Mm. What would you do if they had Kobe beef meatballs? I would get that every time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any beef meatballs with this, but I wanted to try Alright. And last, we got Jeff here. What do you think about Pho Dao here? I, I actually haven't had the Kobe. Mm -hmm. I get their like normal combos. Yeah. I really like the meat. In the normal combo there. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the, the best nice. in the area. Alright. That's been the main man wing drops at Pho Dao. I will say it is like 90 something degrees in here. So I'm just going to end the review here. We're done here. Bide your time and hold out hope.